Hello guys, welcome back to another video with Beeve Travels. We are still in KL and this week we are checking out somewhere that you guys have told us to. We are of course at... Da -da -da. TRX Mall! Woo! <laughs> so we have come to Malaysia's newest shopping mall, the TRX, at the Exchange. And first impressions are that is beautiful! You've got all this open space behind me the cityscape of all the skyscrapers up there and it's very green isn't it and a really big tree look at this tree and a beautiful it? tree there right me and bob have a bit of an issue because i say mall it's mall and I it's should a shopping say, mall I should not say a mall where mall. does that mall mall, mall. Anyway, I don't really care. That's how it comes. That's how it comes out when I say well, it. Well, you're it, wrong. It Eve. bothers you're Bob wrong. every time, so probably get used to that for this video. Okay, so I don't know if it's just because there's nothing around in terms of shade here, but it is extremely hot. We're going to go on inside now and show you guys around. This shopping mall is over a 17-acre complex. It was only completed in November last year, so it is very new. It's looking very fresh because of that. The first thing I can see is Balenciaga and Prada, which, you know, I'd love to be going in there myself, but unfortunately that's not something that's happening for me at the moment. Doesn't quite fit the travelling budget. <laughs> But let's take a look inside. Today, we want to tell you guys about something that's really important to us, and that is mental health. A big thank you to BetterHelp for being the paid partner of today's video. Our videos often show the highlights of travelling and the excitement of exploring new places, but it's important for us to be real on our social platforms. For us, keeping up with producing content, posting to a consistent schedule and being on the road all the time can get overwhelming. Mental health problems can affect anyone, anywhere in the world, and there's a particular stigma around men not talking about their feelings. This can lead to us bottling up all the things that are affecting us and weighing us down. Because of these societal stigmas, it can often be difficult to reach out for help. This is where BetterHelp is so amazing. It's an online therapy platform that allows you to message, call, or video call. It's therapy on your terms. If reaching out seems scary at first, you can start with just sending a single message. There's no need to travel, no crowded way rooms just you and a therapist that really understands. BetterHelp is so easy to use and being an online service means therapy is always accessible and it can fit around your schedule which if you're always on the go like us is so important. Therapy really is for anyone and it's really easy to start. First go to their site you can use our link betterhelp.com forward slash beef travels or choose beef travels during sign up and enjoy a special discount for your first month. But it's very nice, it's very nice. Immediately, again, just like the pavilion mall. Gucci. Do a little bit of shopping. <laughs> that, no, Eve. <laughs> that's what I said in the, in the other video. These shops look really nice though. They're really beautiful, very well presented. Like I said, I do wish I could go in them. But I think this mall has got a lot of things to do, not just shops. So let's try and find out what we can do here. God, this place smells beautiful. It smells so clean, <laughs> so fresh. Right, what good. have we got here? Tipsy Flamingo, that sounds nice. <laughs> right, so we've come to this screen here to try and see what there is to do. There's different things you can choose, shop, dine, facilities. Oh, I'm actually quite hungry. Maybe we can get some food. Oh, wow, look this at this. This is cool. It tells you how to get there. Wow. It really tells you though. Take the escalator to level one. Really cool because it's actually quite difficult to navigate your way around some of these malls. You cannot rely on Google Maps because if Google Maps doesn't tell you what floor the place you want to go is on, then you're done. You're done for. We've come in further and then it looks as though the mall sort of like splits now. Okay, so we just got told off for filming. I've seen other vlogs in this mall. So I kind of feel like you can film in here. We obviously put the GoPro away to be respectful. I think it was we... because we were on the floor with all the designer shops. Yeah. That's the only thing I can think of with like, Yeah, you know, I think so. all the posh shops. I think maybe it was to do with that. So anyway, we've come down now in the escalator to the, where are we now, the sea floor. Yeah, the one under the ground floor. We're Which on. is where the food is. Oh, and I've just seen Arabica as well. Oh, a coffee Arabic chain that we love. We should have oh. known that one of them was 
going to be oh, here. Oh, beautiful. They're in beautiful. all the best malls. Okay, it's, it's looking back up now after that. That little blip from the security guard. It's just so minimalist. I think that's what I love about it. Like, there's actually nothing really here. Just the coffee shop, the sign. I mean, how good is that branding? Like, I just saw that sign and I knew instantly it's Arabica. Like, they've done something right there, haven't they? Dining. Dining. That's Dining. where we're going. Grab some food. <laughs> we love food courts in Malaysian shopping malls. They are the best places to get food. Said it before, say it again. You can't beat a food court you in a Malaysian mall. You can't. You can't beat a food court. They've got everything. They have everything. What are you going to get? I uh, don't know. Don't I know. think I want a clay pot. A clay pot, Maybe. yeah. Maybe. We'll see. We'll have a look. See what you got brought. that last time though. You're a bit of a, a creature of habit with these types of things. Like a clay pot, what can I say? <laughs> I'm not sure this I is right. I don't know if this is where dining is. Okay. It's not giving me very food courty vibes. I, think, I feel like we're in, an M we're in an MRT station now. Okay, guys, we've gone wrong. This is what I was saying earlier about the shopping malls. They're so big, it can be a bit confusing. Where are you going? This just supports our point though, that they're sometimes impossible to find your way around, let alone in and out of. Unpopular opinion, but this floor is way better than the designer shopping floor. You've got Typo, good shop. The body shop, a good shop. Good shop. Good Cotton shop. On. Cotton Uniqlo. on. Yeah. We've seen all the all the brands we love without the hefty price tag. <laughs> Guys, we found the food. We are excited. Food exchange. What should we go for? I don't know. Oh, the Ben's cookies. Ben's cookies. Do you not want to get some actual food? Yeah, before yeah, you actual get food. Cookies? Actual food. I hate food. to be the voice of reason. Um, yeah, but the fun so sponge. Boring. I know the killer of fun. Hot plate. Let's go. Let's, Let's go. have a little look around. Take Let's find some lunch. We like to have a browse of the different selection of food and then make our choice. But we've spotted a Nasi Kandar place and at the moment that is in the running. What type of food is that? Nobody knows. <laughs> Nobody knows. So what's your thought on your hot plate, Eve? Are you going no, for it? No, I don't. It wasn't a hot plate, Bob. It was a clay pot. Very clay different. Pot. They looked really good. I saw them. I get drawn in by all the different foods. So I saw Nasi Kandar first and then I wanted to get Nasi Kandar. But the Korean chicken looked really good. Let's, let's keep going. I feel like in terms of the food court, there's a lot more variety here than we've seen in the likes of like Pavilion Mall, for example. We're going to do it, guys. We're going to go for the nasi kanda. I like because you can choose to get lots of vegetables with it, but I do also want the chicken because I like the chicken on the nasi kanda. We are a lover of nasi kanda, to be fair, and this looks really good. There's a mountain of food there, Eve. I think that's enough food for both of us. Oh, yes, it's a mix. I, th I reckon we share that. Do you want, Do you want egg? Uh, yeah, okay. one uh, fried egg, please. England, UK, yeah. <laughs> but we like Malaysia. It's got good food. You can start doing the vlog, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You have YouTube channel. <laughs> yes, so I was kind of eyeing up what I wanted there, but it looks like we've got enough food to feed both of us, so I think we're just going to share. I think that maybe would have been the idea that he had in his head, but it looks good. I'm not complaining. It looks very good. Oh, this is so good. The actual environment you sat in is very nice. Obviously, it's all brand new, but there's like, for example, there's some plants here behind the... Look at that. Yeah, for a food court, this is really nice. Very yeah. aesthetic. This food came to... What 24 was it? Ringgit. 24 ringgit? It's like four pounds for all of this. Look at that. We've got two pieces of fried chicken, vegetables and egg, rice, aubergine, lady, lady fingers. fingers. Up for a bindi, bindi. <laughs> okay, so we're finished with lunch now. For those of you that are concerned, probably no one except me, we're gonna come back and get the Ben's cookies on our way out because we want them for later, not for now. It's a bit muchy. It's just a bit much after you've just smashed all that food to then have a Ben's cookie on top. Ooh, I didn't 
didn't even realise Ben's cookies still existed. There's some really cool little bits in this mall. Like these decorations here look so crazy. And there's a mirror here. And so it looks as though it just goes all the way up, it doesn't it? It's a mirror. But there's lots of mirrors actually. This place is really cool. There's lots of mirrors and they're also like clean and the floor's so shiny. You can so tell it's new. Everything's yeah. reflecting off each other as well, which is really cool. I like it here. Even if you don't want to shop, it's just a cool place to come. Very trusty shop here in Malaysia and other parts of Southeast Asia. It's one of the best shops out there. It I'll, is. I'll say it. You get all your bits you and all your bits. I will be a bit boring here. We do need some toothpaste, so... Oh, we, we might actually need yeah, to go. So, <laughs> yeah, so... Let's go in. We gotta to go to Watson's. But you weren't expecting to come here with us on this tour, but when you're in a mall, you've gotta take these opportunities as they come. Okay, we've seen something really cool here and we're gonna try and find it, but it's on the upper floor again. What was it? The ground floor where we got told off the of filming, so gonna be a little bit careful. <laughs> it's really cool though. We're gonna show you, we're gonna show you. I'm not gonna tell you, I'm gonna show you. One of the main reasons that drew us to this mall in the first place, where have you ever seen this before? I have never seen it anywhere apart from right now. Tell us what you think. <laughs> So Eve, have you uh, seen anything you like in this shop? I want one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Can I take him back to the apartment? <laughs> what incredible marketing though to get people in. I mean, I would never have come in this shop unless they had those beastly things out in the front. It's true. It works, true. it works. <laughs> How much are these? 1,190 Malaysian ringgit. I'm not gonna lie Eve, I think they're a bit out of your price range. <laughs> Oh, now I got up price so y'all snake guys on dice for you. These are just the maddest thing ever, aren't they? So cool. I still don't really get what it's for. Oh, that really makes me want to shop at Tiffany and Co now. Should <laughs> are we you go? go? I've just got a sudden urge to go shop at Tiffany and Co. <laughs> what what are you gonna buy in there? So we're gonna go and find the TRX City Park now. It's on the third floor. And that's where there's a Serenity Garden, an inspiration garden. I can't remember, but it sounds really good. We're gonna go find it. I think it's outside the mall. I think, so the mall is, is cool, but I think there's more to see outside in like the general complex scene. This place really does remind me of Singapore in a sense that it's really green, really clean, and very new, very new. Oh, I've just realized as well, that building we just came out of is the big TRX building that you see. We've come to a sign and it says forest walk, so we're going to go that way and try and find the forest walk. But you've got a few other things here. You've got Shake Shack, Dining Terrace, Events Lawn. You've got all these different things all around the area of the mall. Yeah, let's try and find the forest walk. One thing that is very unique about Kuala Lumpur is it is one of the only cities with a rainforest within the city itself. There's lots and lots of green places around Kuala Lumpur and this is no exception by the looks. This is actually a really cool place. This is a really cool mall. I'm mall, mall, where, bog, whatever. <laughs> I'm really enjoying it. It feels like a really nice walk already. You've got a real mix of like the big skyscrapers and then some nice green space. I think it's really nice. It's, it's really lovely. nice. It feels very calm out here. It does feel Everybody's calm. being very quiet, yeah. very nice. It's lovely. Beautiful. I can see the second tallest building in the world. I really like it here. Yeah, me too. Should we move here? <laughs> what a beautiful place. <laughs> KL has never failed to surprise us <laughs> for all it has to offer. We always go somewhere and within like a week we're like, we could live here, but we can't live everywhere. That's very true. <laughs> you can't live everywhere. <laughs> But I think Kuala Lumpur would be up there on one of the places I would like to live. You've got signs for every tree telling you what they are, which is cool. I feel like this would be a really nice place to bring kids if you were here as a family. I feel like they'd love it. Like they can set them off, they can run down here. You can set them off. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Bob's version of what you do with kids. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and in some parts of this place it's actually quite shaded as well which is nice when it's very hot in Malaysia in case anybody out there didn't know <laughs> all right well we completed the forest walk it didn't take very long it's just a small loop but it was really nice this whole area outside is really nice actually and it's not very busy like it's not busy at all it's not is busy it? at all like, there's actually, really not many people here look at the people there's however we should say most people do have jobs and <laughs> it's like 2 p.m on a monday now so not everybody is as fortunate as us <laughs> this is true <laughs> i will have to admit this but it was a lot busier inside the mall and this area i still think isn't very busy where we were showing you that big screen earlier from the ceiling we're now up high there and look at how cool this is they've got like beams coming down with I think they're real plants actually yeah, yeah. in these. I think they are, yeah. That's wow. so nice. Really good for air quality as well, if you're interested in that. But it just looks so pretty. I feel like everything has been thought of where it's being placed. Like yeah. putting benches on the steps that are already there is a very good idea. Mm. I like it here. Yeah, I like nice. this mall. This might be my favourite mall in Malaysia that I've been to actually. Ooh. I know. <laughs> bold statement but I think it's true <laughs> thank you to everyone that suggested we came here <laughs> so guys all that exploring we have to come and get a coffee from Arabica now we passed it on the way in we love it and we need a little pick me up it really takes it out of you exploring all these malls unfortunately there's not actually any chairs to sit on here at the moment because they're sectioned off Okay, I'm sure Bob's mixed up the order. <laughs> He's gone for a Coyote latte instead of an espresso macchiato. I'm very confused. Why? Why, Bob? Why did you do that? I had to do it. Well, we're going to share it, so a little macchiato isn't really going to cut it for enough. both of us. So I thought, get a bigger coffee. It goes a bit further, you know. Okay, I accept. I accept. Sorry. Sorry to hurt your feelings. <laughs> I messed up. I should have listened to Eve. I got the wrong coffee order thinking I was making the better decision. I did not know a Kyoto latte was slightly sweeter. I oh. actually like it. I really like it, but... Eve likes it. I was the one that actually wanted the coffee and I'm not the biggest fan. I won't be doing that again. The time has come to get the Ben's cookies. Cookie Stop time. banging on about it, honestly. It's all I've heard about <laughs> since we, the moment we walked in and realised they were here. Cookie time! Yeah! I just said to Bob that we need to get at least four cookies because that's one each today and one each tomorrow but it might depend on the box oh my god it's exactly as I remember them oh they're so good they're so good okay they do look good to be fair they're really good they do look good right you can get a box of set oh 50 ringgit that's a bit expensive oh I wasn't expecting that we could do seven do we do we need seven oh, what 50 ringgit Five cookies, two extra free. How much are fish really bring in? And that's everything, thank you. Okay guys, so we did just go for one cookie each. I wasn't anticipating them to be quite as much as they were, but that's fine because really you only need one cookie each. You do only need one cookie. I mean, you don't come all the way from the UK to Malaysia to eat a Ben's cookie, quite frankly, do you? Cookies secured, one last stop before I think we're done in the mall and I want to go into Typo. They have some really cool bits in there and I just like to have a look around. You look cute in this actually. I'm not sure I need that with the humidity here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's good vibes. It's, it is funny, it is. <laughs> a lot of the stuff in here we can't actually buy because we're traveling so i'm not going to carry a mug around with me but i do like to have a look and i did get a really nice laptop case in here and a notebook so oh like this but pink yeah your one pink. it's cute guys guess what <laughs> my nails match this and this and this all i ever hear about is how much Eve's nails match everything else we own. <laughs> Look 
at Bob's face. He can't be dealing with me. Since you've had him done, he? She got her nails done two weeks ago. Every single purple thing we see, she's like, oh my god, look at the match. I partly do it just to wind him up. Okay, we've left them all now. We're actually sat on the steps where we were to start with in this video. Yeah, a bit of a full circle moment. Ended up in exactly the same spot. Here we are, <laughs> right outside the mall itself. We hope you enjoyed this video, guys, of our afternoon exploring the newest mall in Malaysia. We do have an awful lot of Malaysian content coming out and have already come out, so make sure you check out our Malaysia playlist. And if you don't already, make sure to follow along on our Instagram as well. If you do like the video, then please give it a like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye.